Welcome to Have I Got a Story for You, produced by PJ Library, a program of the Harold Grinspoon Foundation. PJ Library sends great, expertly curated books to families raising Jewish children every month for free. Just be clear, I'm not saying for three, like if the books cost $3 or something. No, the books are free with an F, as in Felicia is my f -f -f furry pet ferret. Or forget about sending us money because PJ Library books are f -f -f free, thanks to our generous donors. You can sign up at pjlibrary.org. Have I never told you guys about my pet ferret, Felicia? She's so cute and fluffy. Actually, I brought her to the studio today. Say hi, Felicia. I haven't brought her in before because, well, I know not everyone is an animal lover, which I totally respect. But the person I was specifically thinking about told me he's trying to be open to meeting more animals, and he actually wanted me to bring her in, which I also totally respect. So, Al the sound engineer, what do you think of Felicia? She is, uh, she's here. No, oh, she's pretty cute. Oh, yes, she is. And she's also very friendly and soft and fluffy and has tiny little ears. So you're you're welcome to come in here and meet her up close anytime you feel like it. Oh no, no. I'm I'm good. You you do your thing. I'll I'll appreciate it from over here. Oh, you don't feel like it right now. I get it. No problem. You know what, Al? You might have something in common with the main character of our story today. Why don't we jump in? He actually recorded the whole thing himself. Oh, right. The, the whole thing where you ask kids to send us a voicemail. Exactly. Hmm. Cue up that sample I sent you. Uh, rolling. Okay. I think I'm safe here. At least for now. All right. I'll talk as long as I can. But sorry in advance if I have to start running all of a sudden. It's just the way things are right now. This is Special Agent David King. I won't say my current location in case things don't go my way. And this recording falls into the wrong hands. Uh, let's see. Conditions here, not great. I finished my food supply a while ago, and I'm getting hungry. I have no water, and I haven't seen the others in a while, so I don't know who's still running, who made it out, and who might have been found. I'm gonna need to... Ah! Spider! I gotta run! So, yeah, David's pretty awesome. Running through the woods on some kind of intense secret mission... We'll jump right back in with him in a sec. But just to update you, my ferret Felicia is nosing around by the production booth door. Al, I think she wants to come visit. Uh, listen, thanks, but I have I have a lot of sound to engineer right now, so I... I Understood, no problem. Yeah. Come here, Fifi, you can sit on Mama's lap. What's that? I know, sweetie, sound happens everywhere all the time without anyone engineering it. But somehow it's different with podcasts, so Al needs to be by himself for now, okay? Let's listen to David's next recording. All right, sorry about that. Man, if I could make all the spiders in the world disappear, I would. Seriously, who would miss them? I wouldn't. I know, there'd be so many more flies around if the spiders weren't eating them. But I'm fine with that. They'd be happier flies, at least. Not afraid all the time of getting trapped in a gross, sticky web and being kept prisoner by an ugly spider. Right now, I know how that feels, knowing I could be caught at any moment. Poor flies. I'm gonna get out of here. One day I'll come back, and I'll have spider spray, if that's a thing. And I'm gonna get rid of every creepy, crawly, little, stupid spider. Uh-oh, this could be it. Oh, Whew. it's just the twins. Wanna go this way? Yeah, maybe we can hey, find a- Hey, be quiet. He'll get us all caught. David? Where is he? I don't know. 
Oh, those bushes with the hands sticking out waving at us. Get in. Let me just squeeze right in there. Okay, just... Logan, you can't both fit on that side. Flo is already there. I know. Can you move over? No, I don't trust those leaves over there. Could be poison ivy or poison something else. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot. You don't do leaves or bugs. Or squirrels. Don't tell me you fall for their whole cute furry thing, Florentia. Um, squirrels are the most selfish creatures on the planet. Fine, I'll go over there. That's not poison ivy. If you say so. So, have you two seen anything? Jen got caught. What? But Jen never gets caught. <sighs> so, she's out. I think it was Adam's fault. I, I think he gave her up to save himself. No! Shh! You're going to get us caught. My brother would never do that. What? Of course he would. <sighs> yeah, he totally would. I guess I just wish it wasn't true. I know. You'd never do that. We all know that. But Adam's like a squirrel. Aunt Karen mailed us a whole box of hamantash and last forum, but Adam ate them all right there by the mailbox, so we wouldn't even know they came. Of course you'd find out they came. Aunt Karen always calls to make sure that we tried them and to ask if we liked her experimental chocolate ones. Even though she perfected those like in 1982. Exactly. Hey, speaking of food, neither of you has any, do you? Not me. Me neither. You thinking of going back to get some? Are you kidding? I might as well turn myself in. Yeah. What about... Do you guys have the Uncle Stone? Wait, no. Don't tell me. It's safer if I don't know. We don't have it. Oh. Okay, so the only thing to do is keep moving. We probably don't have a lot of time until they... Shh. We're not safe here. Too many of us. And it's too gross in these bushes. I feel like I've got spiders all over me. What do we do? I'm not sure. Do you know if spider spray is a real thing? I mean about not getting caught. Oh, right. We need to split up and make a promise. Logan and I are not splitting up. Obviously. No, I mean you guys go one way, I'll go another. But if I get caught, I promise to make a ton of noise to cover your footsteps so you can run like crazy. Nice. And we'll promise to do the same thing for you. I know you will, because we're like family. We are family. We're your cousins. I know, but I mean, it's just within the whole... Ugh, never mind. Look, you guys go that way. There's more cover over there for two people, and I'm going to head back that way. What? That's a dead end. And there's nothing over there. You'll be so easy to catch. There's something there. I mean, there was. If it's still there, it would only help one person and not a pair of you. Oh. All right, we'll see you soon. That's right, I like the attitude. You will see me soon. Take care of yourselves. Oh, I am on the edge of my seat. What do you think is going to happen here? Will David be okay? What about Flo and Logan? Will Al ever get over his fear of animals? No, I, 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 I'm not afraid. I, I am just right, less right, right. than comfortable anyway, around... Anyway, David's story is very similar to a very old Jewish story called a Midrash. Ben Surah told a story of King David, leader of the Jewish people, fleeing from the nefarious, that's a big word for evil, King Saul, and hid in a cave with an assist from a spider. You can learn more on our website, gotastorypodcast.com. Now, let's see if our David's story has a similar ending. So, a long time ago, I was in the same situation, and I built a kind of a, a little fort. It was just a little further that way. There were a few small boards of wood, just enough to lean together and cover them up with some branches for camouflage. If you've ever seen a sukkah, it kind of looked like that, but tinier. No room for your whole family to have Shabbat dinner. Anyway, I don't know if it's still there, but there isn't really any other option. Oh, ho! Ka -ha! Hoot, hoot! oh no, the twins got caught, but they kept the promise. Thank you, guys. Here we go. 
Oh, run, David, run! His cousins just got caught, and he needs to get to that little fort or he'll get caught too. We don't even know who's catching them, so we'll just keep listening. But first, really quickly, I wanted... I, I wanted to tell you guys the cutest thing. A couple of minutes ago, Al, the sound engineer, opened the door to get something, and he accidentally let my ferret Felicia into his production booth. But he hasn't told me to come get her. She's playing it cool, just checking out all his sound equipment. And he's just kind of pretending not to notice her. Uh, Rita, you know I can hear everything you say in there, right? Uh, you, there's the microphones everywhere. <laughs> and I'm the sound engineer. And d did I hear you say that that the, the creature is is in the room with me? Is, is that true? Is that something that's oh, actually hey, happening Hey, right let's now? check back in with David King running through the woods, right? Yeah. Almost there. Oh, hey. Hey, little bro. Glad to see you're still running free. Of course I am. What are you doing headed in this direction? This is a dead end with no good cover. Same question for you. Fair enough. I had a feeling I'd find something here. The Uncle Stone. Did you find it? Oh, sweet! I thought you'd like it. I'd never really gotten a close look at it. Why would you let me know you have it? Because I want to give it to you. What? Why? You're not a little squirt anymore. You're a superstar out here. You're Special the... Agent David King. Sure. Okay. Look, I want to team up and win this with my brother. You take this. Whoa, it's heavier than it looks. I have a plan, and I need the one person I can definitely trust. You take the Uncle Stone all the way into the dead end. Then I'll go to the complete other side of the woods and make a big distraction. That will give you cover to head to the end goal. I trust you to wait for me there, and we'll do this thing together. That's actually pretty brilliant. No one's ever tried it before. Who could pull it off besides you and me? We're the best. I think Jen would disagree with that, if she was still here. What? What did you hear? You saw the twins. Look. Look at what you're holding. You know we could really do this. Don't you want to do Shh. this? Oh no. We're cornered. I can't go that way to the end goal. Okay. Just go deeper in. I'll take care of it. What are you gonna do? Just go. Oh yes! It's still here. Port is still here. Smaller than I remember, though. Well, I guess I grew, and it got really disgusting. I'm just gonna ignore everything that's been growing in here for a couple years. Oh no, there's a big spider! Can't stay, I gotta get out. I need... <gasps> you can stop right there, Adam. It's over for you. Uh, my head fell off outside the fort. If they see it, they'll know I'm in here. You know what, Darcy? Good. I'm glad you're here. Uh, no, it's not good for you at all. Actually, it is. Oh, yeah? Why? Because you'd rather get someone who has the Uncle Stone. No! I'm listening. Since I gave it to my brother, and since I know exactly where he took it, I'd say I'm pretty valuable to you. Uh-huh, and what do you suggest we do? You want to get out of here with the Uncle Stone. I just want to get out of here a free man. If I lead you to my brother, we both get what we want. No one's ever done a deal like that before. Who could pull it off besides you and me? We're the best. Adam King, you really are evil. Giving up your own brother? Well, you're more like a big sister to me than a cousin. Uh-huh. Really, you're like the only one I can trust, and you're a superstar out here. I want to team up and win this with you. Remember how you and I dominated the chair tunnel game at Charlie's Bar Mitzvah? Okay, okay, enough sweet talk. Where's David? Just like I told him to. He's running into the dead end, where I knew you and I could get him. He's right down this trail. Adam is standing right there. Okay, Adam. So go get him. What? Look, 
I'm not a gullible little kid, and I don't think your brother is either. But you admit you tried to trick him, and I bet you're trying to trick me, too. I'll wait right here, and if you can go get him and show me the Uncle Stone, we've got a deal. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. I knew Adam was lying to me. Jen is so good, he had to get her out of his way, and now he's trying to knock me out, too. And there's nothing I can do. I'm trapped in my own fort, waiting for one of them to notice me, and then I'm finished. I can't even... Squirrel! What the... My hat? Holy cow, I wish this was recording video. A squirrel just crawled in here, dragging my hat with his teeth. Thanks, little critter. Ugh, and he crawled out of here under a web that this spider is making. I'm going to have to clear that out to get away. Yeah. This is crazy. He has to be here. Uh Uh-huh. That was a pretty good waste of my time, Adam. I'll give you that. No, he's here. He's got to be right around here. Just let me look. There's nowhere to hide here. That's why only dum-dums like you would come this way. He's tricking us. He's got a... Wait. What's that? Look in there. That's a totally obvious Adam hiding place. (gasps) Ew, this pile of rotting wood and leaves? No, there's a huge spider web covering the opening, so no one's gone in there for a long time. He must have just laid down, and somehow we ran right past him when you were chasing me. He can't have gone very far. Drop the story already, Adam. It's over. He was here. (sighs) Uh Uh-huh. I'm ending this. Darcy, think about all What I'm thinking about is that you are... Done. No! Why'd you do that? I was gonna help you for real. I'll see you later, cuz. Besides, I'm tired of running, and I want to grab some of Aunt Nancy's lemonade punch before the rest of you drink it all. All right. Good game, I guess. Where's David? Hey, Darcy, wait up. Did, did all that really just happen? So now, I have the Uncle Stone. Adam has been caught. Darcy is now headed off in the other direction somewhere, and I was just saved by a squirrel and a spider and a bunch of leaves that are surprisingly comfortable to lay on. I'm getting help from the craziest places, and I may actually be about to do this. Spider friend, thanks for the web. Sorry I need to bust through it, but you'll make a new one real quick, I'm sure. Oh, oh dear. You, you, you. That is a sticky whip, but I love it. Okay, here goes. Oh, you guys, I think David's about to do it. First, I didn't know if he could do it. Then I thought his brother was going to stop him from doing it. And I still don't really know what it is, but I think he's about to do it. And Al, the sound engineer... I'm glad you're hearing this part of the story about giving other creatures a chance, because sometimes you'll find out they're really your friends. Al? Sorry, I I couldn't push the intercom button to answer you right away, because there's a ferret climbing up my arm. Oh, that means she really likes you. You two keep bonding. The rest of us are going to hear the end of David's story and figure out what game it is that everyone's playing. I can't tell if it's Capture the Flag, a LARP... Parcheesi, or maybe all of the above. I'm almost there. All right, kids, dinner is about ready, and we got Aunt Cheryl on FaceTime. Is this, uh, is this wrapping up? I think so, Ma. Wow, it is a long one this year. Has Nathan been to the bathroom? Yes. yes. It'll be over soon, Ma. Almost everybody's out. Except for... Except for the 2019 Family Chase Champion, Special Agent David King. Whoa! Good job! Little Davy, all grown up. Okay, take off the shoes when you come inside, everyone. Mara, the little David won that big chasing game or whatever it is they've been doing in the woods all day. Well, they better still have my paperweight. I got that at the Bushwick Flea in 1987. We got it, Uncle Ira. David, I've never seen you covered in dirt and leaves. It's a good look for you, champ. There's a lot of spiders this year. Aren't you, like, afraid of bugs? Not anymore. You finally realize you can just squash them? No, I don't want to squash them. I just realized that even a super creepy one might give you something helpful. Right, Adam? Oh! Ha, 
Ha ha. Enjoy your moment, little man. I don't know how you did it, but nice work. Yes. 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 Let's eat. Wait, what's that? I'm just turning off my voice recorder. Oh, I forgot you keep that on when you do your special agent thing. Yeah, I recorded the whole family chase this year because they might make it into a podcast. A podcast? Wait, you recorded like everything that happened out here? Yep. My sweet brother, you know that I wanted you to win that whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this went exactly how I planned. Yeah, right. Seriously, I just, I couldn't tell you because, you know, your reaction had to be believable, so... Ah! Is there something in my hair? Let me see. Oh, yeah, there's a big spider. Hang on, I'll scoop him up so we can send him back into the woods. Thanks, bro. Hey, so you and I should win together next year. Here's what I'm thinking, and it's your call, of course. You're the champ, but with my brains and my strength and your... You know, smaller brains, uh, we could do it. Wow. Well, congratulations to David on his epic victory and on learning that every single plant, animal, and person has an important purpose and something to give, even if we don't know what it is. Take bees, for example. Of course, no one wants to get stung by a bee, but we know that honeybees make delicious honey. But did you also know that while they're making honey, they're helping to pollinate all kinds of plants that people rely on for food? In fact, it's estimated that about a third of the food we eat couldn't grow without this pollination help from bees, other insects, birds, and bats. One third of our food! That's like one whole meal from each day. So if you wished for those creatures to disappear just because they bug you or creep you out, it'd be like wishing for there to be no more lunch ever. Speaking of lunch, it's time for me to feed my ferret, Felicia, but she's having the time of her life in there with Al the sound engineer. Rita, Rita, look! Look at the little face she's making! Who's the muffin? You're the muffin. Yes? Do you see this? Oh, Fifi. Fifi. You're so this episode really has two happy endings. Wait, I didn't say you had to stop. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have you got a story for us? Send us a voice memo like David did or email us at gotastorypodcast.com. Hearing from you guys never bugs us because we think you're sweeter than honey. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. PJ Library gives huge thanks to the champs at the Harold Grinspoon Foundation and their super generous partners because they make it so we can send free, fantastic books every month to families raising Jewish children. Find out how your family can sign up at pjlibrary.org.